Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula. I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go discussion video. Alright, so at the time that I'm recording this video, I just wrapped up Beldum Community Day Classic, and I had a couple of thoughts regarding the future of Community Days. Specifically, I feel like there were a lot of good things about this particular Community Day, which I hope Niantic takes into heart for future events. Because when it comes to Community Days, I feel like they were on a downward trajectory for a very long time, and it's been really difficult to get players on board and excited about these events. They have always been a staple part of Pokemon Go. It's basically one of the most exciting events that Niantic has every single month. But after a while, they started to get really stale, and I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Now, one of the things that was going for Beldum Community Day Classic was, of course, the Pokémon itself. Metagross is a top-tier Pokémon when it comes to Steel types, and when you give it the Community Day move, it automatically becomes one of the best. And I think because of that, a lot of players were really excited about this Community Day, specifically because of the gameplay implications. Getting yourself a Metagross with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash is going to elevate your gameplay by leaps and bounds. So a lot of players found that this particular Community Day was worth going after, mainly because of how useful the Pokémon is. And I think this is one of the things that Niantic needs to consider, because for several Community Days, we've had Pokémon that are only good for one area of the game, and that is PvP. But if you have a Pokemon like Metagross, which is going to be good for both PvP and PvE content, then you're going to have a lot more players on board and more hyped up for the particular event. I know that's going to be quite limited, considering that so many Pokemon are only going to be good for just PvP and some are going to be good for PvE, and very few are going to be in the middle that are going to be good for both PvP and PvE. But one thing Niantic should consider with every single Community Day is giving the Pokemon a really good exclusive move that will elevate it to top tier levels for both PvE and PvP content. I think only then you're going to find a lot more players interested in these monthly events, and that could only be a good thing because community days are essentially a staple for Pokemon Go and if people are not caring about them then that's going to spell disaster for the game as a whole. Now this was something that was more specific to myself and my local communities but I really feel like one of the things that makes community days really exciting is of course the Shundo hunt. There's a lot of people who report on 100% IVs and players tend to go over to those locations to get that Shundo and I think this is one area where Niantic could make vast improvements to the Community Day format. I'm not necessarily saying that they should give players access to some sort of IV map where they could go out and just look for hundos the entire time, but what I would like to see is more opportunities for you to get high IV shinies. I think one thing that they should do is have more field research tasks that will award you with the Community Day Pokémon. And then on top of that, why not have one-star raids featuring the Pokémon itself? I really do not like the idea of there being four-star raids at the end of Community Day, which is the only avenue for you to get high IVs of the particular Pokémon. Why not have different things throughout the entire event? That will draw a lot more players to get more excited about those Community Days, and then on top of that, you're going to see a lot more players getting those shundos, which is definitely going to drive a lot more excitement. Maybe they could do something where you're going to have one or two guaranteed lucky trades throughout the community day. That way some players could use those lucky trades to get themselves a shundo of the community day Pokemon. I really do not know what the case may be, but this could be a great way for them to drive a lot more excitement within the game, and I think a lot more players will actually care about community days because it's going to be their one day every month where they could potentially get a shundo, and I think that's something that Niantic should consider. And then finally, I think this is something that I don't don't think gets discussed when it comes to community days, but one of the strengths of these events is community. That's part of the name of the event, and I feel like there's a lot more that Niantic could do to reinforce the community aspect of community days. One thing that I would like to see them do a lot more is work with the Niantic ambassadors to create a lot more mini events that are going to be completely localized and for players to be able to meet up and collect and trade the community day Pokemon. I would like to see more of that because as of right now with the community ambassador program, there really isn't much to it. You basically get yourself an additional Pokestop at a specific location, and those community ambassadors could do different things, but I really do not see them doing a whole lot with the community ambassadors that could be gameplay relevant. Like, 
I, why not have localized events? I think that would be really cool, where if you're playing next to a community ambassador, you can get yourself some nice bonuses, maybe a higher chance at getting a shiny. I really do not know what the case could be, but I really like the idea of them reinforcing community-based play by utilizing their community ambassadors, because as of right now, they haven't really been doing that. So yeah, I really do like community days. I still do. I wish Niantic were to do more of them. I mean, it's really good that they're doing community day classics every so often, and they are listening to the community in terms of what Pokemon people would like to see for community days. I mean, Beldum was one of the most requested community day classics in a very long time, and Niantic finally bit the bullet. But I really do think that Niantic could do more, and I really hope they choose to do so, because Community Days, like I've been saying, has been the staple core gameplay of Pokemon Go. It's one of the things that players always look forward to. And Niantic could do a lot more to keep them relevant, Niantic could do a lot more to keep them more hyped up than they usually are, and I think Niantic should start tapping into that, because we're reaching a point where Community Days are going to start feeling very stale. And I really hope it never reaches that point. And it's really going to be up to Niantic to create a lot of interesting and unique gameplay to prevent these sort of events from going stale. So yeah, I really hope I was very constructive with my feedback. Again, I really enjoyed Beldum Community Day Classic. I think it was one of those community days that had a lot of hype and a lot of community involvement, but I'm really concerned about future upcoming community days because depending on the Pokemon that they choose, it's going to be a bust or it's going to be something really exciting. It's really going to be up to Niantic, but yeah. Any case, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share my thoughts regarding Community Day, but I would like to know your thoughts down below. Do you enjoy the current state of Community Days or would you like to see certain improvements? And what are those improvements that you would like to see? Definitely share all those thoughts in the comment section. And yeah, let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos on my channel. And if you wanna support the Content Solo channel, the absolute best way you could do so is by joining my Patreon. If you become a paid Patreon member, you get the perk of getting a permanent spot on my in-game Pokemon Go friends list. So when it comes to stuff like remote raids, and the friendship system. If you want remote raid invites from me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel in a different way, you could do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Conjinsula. I'm on the platforms that you see on screen. Make sure you go over there and give me a follow. And yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Conjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.